Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm sliding this little snippet into the beginning of this video because this was one of the, I think, three or four videos that myself and my buddy Glenn Ozstar uh, shot while we were, while I was in Delaware about a month ago. Uh, we got a lot of a lot of work done in a very little amount of time. Uh, we were able to knock this whole Mustang out while I was there with the Complete One system. We also added in a compounding step with Infinite Cut. And uh, it was just a great day. Glenn's a great guy. He has an automotive uh, YouTube channel. So if you guys uh, wouldn't mind, check him out. Um, I'll leave all of his information in the snippet after this going into the video. Uh, but I just wanted to touch on what was happening here. And it was, like I said, about a month, about a month ago uh, in uh, Delaware where I flew up there. We did a collaboration together. We did several videos. We also got to detail a few awesome cars uh, for you guys on video. And um, without further ado, here's Glenn's information. If you got questions for me, leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all of that cool stuff. Uh, hit the bell notification so that you never miss a beat. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Check out Glenn's info and then the rest of the video. I appreciate you. Hey, guys. Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. We've got a 19 Mustang right here. And uh, it's got some water spots and that kind of stuff. You can see it's pretty hazy. Um, got these halogen lights here. And you can see some scratches and that kind of thing in the paint. It's not real bad compared to how it could be, you know, since it's black and all. So I'm going to grab one of my buddy's lights here. And we'll go ahead and walk around the car. <clears throat> Got a general haze going on, nothing fancy, but you know, you can see the scratches and that kind of stuff that's in there. Uh, perfection is not reality, you guys know if you follow me, I'm not a perfectionist because you'll just chase your tail all day long. But at the same time, we want to make it look great. But you can see the haze that's all over this thing. This spoiler is pretty nasty. Uh, all, all we've done so far, I've got my uh, buddy Glenn over there helping me out. Um, more like a combo job, less assistant situation, more like just getting it done. But... Uh, all we did was wash with the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. I don't know if you can see all those pigtails in the uh, paint there, but it's just not good. So we did a rinseless wash with Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. Look at all those scratches. And then uh, we clayed at the same time, so... It's all clean and decontaminated. It wasn't super contaminated. The the, uh, the the paint didn't have a lot of junk on it. I mean, it definitely had some stuff. It was worth claying for sure. It always is. But I always clay before I polish. That's one thing I get asked a lot. When should I clay? The answer is before you do anything to the paint. <laughs> Other than wash, you should clay before you polish, before you apply a protective product. Man, this thing is just generally hazy. It's more like a dark gray than a black. Very hazy. It's going to definitely So, you see what it looks like. It definitely isn't uh, like it's going to be. Yeah, there's a couple of them. There's a big one all the way across here. And then if you look at the the park bench <laughs> Spoiler, yeah. um it's all messed up i mean it's bad and then if you look down here it's, it's real easy. bad look at this really looks like somebody took a scouring oh, pad to, to that good god 
Yep. That is brutal. Yep. <clears throat> This is a pretty awesome light that Glenn has. You said that one's a generic version of this? Yeah, that's the Astro um, so, 40 SL40, I think it's called, or 40 SL. Come on, that's focus. It. Yeah, it says it right there. Yeah. I use it in a lot of my videos. I mean, it definitely. I can't get it to focus, but it's a 40 SL. Yeah, that's the model. The there we go. 40 SLs. So. I'm actually going to pick up a couple of these. I like them. All right, cool. Well, we're going to get started. You see what it looks like. Uh, it will be much better later. We're, um, we are going to use the complete one system, which is all there. We're going to add a compounding step in here. Potentially I'm going to, I'm going to test the uh, universal all in one and see if that knocks out a lot of this. Then we're going to go from there but the plan was compound polish and then the one system all in so time to get to work Done polished well, with the exception of Glenn working on the front bumper. I'm about to do the universal clean and prep wipe down uh, to remove polishing oils and that kind of thing. Uh, and then we'll get rolling on the, the coating application. So universal coating is going to go on first on all the paint and the trim and all of that. And then after that, Immediately, we're going to hit it with the Ultra Endurance Max Coat Pro, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, I am seeing in this these temps here, which it's uh, what'd you say? It's 56 degrees in the garage. Yeah, 58, 60 almost. So, and it was about the same uh, last night when we applied the coatings to the Corvette. Um, it is taking the coatings a little longer to dry than uh, it does down in Florida. So. Uh, you know the heat obviously plays a factor in that and all of that so No big deal. We just got to let it sit a little bit longer before we can buff it off But I'll get to that in just a bit uh, The correction is pretty good. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of What it looks like over here I'm Sure you can see It's very dusty, but it looks pretty fantastic actually Definitely got some deeper scratches that didn't come out, but overall it looks really good and the gloss is Fantastic compared to how it was when we started, right? Oh, yeah, the haze is definitely... I mean the haze was ridiculous. So anyway, she's straight now gonna get it knocked out and we'll be right back uh, Probably after we apply the coatings. Uh, we're in a little bit of a time crunch. I got to catch a flight today back to Tampa uh, but we're gonna keep rocking and rolling. We'll be back uh, when we get more done All right, we got a lot of progress done uh, My flight leaves at 405. We're around an hour from the airport. It is noon right now. So Where we're at right now Is uh, right now, right I know, I'm sorry, I was looking at my phone. We're in the All Stars Cars Garage here. That's right. Where we're at right now is we have applied um, the wheels are coated, the tires are dressed with the uh, universal dressing, one part product to three parts water. Uh, the chemical reaction is taking place on the car currently. You can see that it's still a little bit wet. Uh, as soon as it hazes up, you know, a lot of this is already dry, and when you can do that 
and you can see that it's still smudged in there. It's not quite ready to take off, and you can, that's pretty evident by the high spots uh, with the, the wetness there. So it's not quite ready to wipe off, but so what we're doing now is we're just trimming it out, getting the odds and ends done while we wait. So like I said, we applied the coating, Universal Coating Pro first, then Ultra Endurance Max Coat Pro right on top of that. While that's drying, and in this climate at the 58, 59 degrees it is in the garage here, it's not drying super fast. So you gotta let it dry a little bit longer. Uh, normally in, uh, in Tampa, with the humidity and that kind of thing, uh, that stuff, that combo starts to dry in 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, here, the reality is probably 30, 40 minutes before you can wipe it off, but when you start wiping it, it comes right off. Uh, no high spots, which is the beauty of the, uh, not only the ceramic acrylics technology, but the application system and the chemical reaction that happens. Like I mentioned in another video recently, when you apply the universal coating uh, to the bottom, uh, and then you apply the Ultra Endurance Max Coat to the top, the two, basically the Ultra Endurance Max Coat is gonna do a lot of the hardening to the bottom layer, and it pushes the good stuff to the bottom, and what you're seeing here is basically the evidence that the product uh, is, is cured enough or set enough to wipe it off. But the reality is, full set in two hours, Usually I wipe it off in 15, 20 minutes. Uh, this is taking a little bit longer. Uh, I've got Glenn over here is using the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 direct to the glass. Uh, it's gonna give you a good durable glass coating so uh, it will bead water and stuff. I don't believe in doing more than that. I think, uh, in my opinion, the glass coatings that are on the market, they're, they're not necessary. Uh, they essentially do what, you know, the old school rain will do anyway. Just makes everything beat up. Uh, it doesn't make the glass any stronger. Uh, just like coatings, they're not making the paint stronger. They're just generally harder than your factory clear coat, which means they're gonna resist scratches better. Um, they are going to help hold together the paint so that you don't get as many chips uh, from rocks and that kind of thing. Uh, but the universal coating goes on all the black plastic trim. If you'll notice, it's pretty saturated. Uh, just a quick wipe. Uh, when we're done, we'll make that all smooth and good looking. But that's where we're at right now. Um, slick as snot. I mean, it, this stuff is just awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and stop yapping, help Glenn finish up the trimming it out, and then get all this stuff wiped off. So we'll be back when we, I'll probably do the outro for both the cars as soon as we pull this thing outside so we can look at it and it's a little overcast, but we'll, it'll be better light than in here for sure. So, all right, we'll be right back. All right, the Mustang's finished. Now this is the uh, outro for the, for Glenn's Corvette one system detail. He was one hell of a, I, I wouldn't even call him an apprentice. Not even an intern kind of thing. He was, he did a great job. In fact, he is now a certified Congratulations. one system detailer, my man. All right, congratulations. So if you guys are in Middletown, Delaware, or any of the surrounding areas, and you want this system done to your vehicle, you absolutely can get, get a hold of Greg uh, do you want to mention Glennis. your phone number? Yeah, it's Glennis. Or, did I say uh, Greg? Yeah, but anyway, Gary, I want to thank you for coming all Wait, the way. wait, let's shoot that again. I don't know where I was, yeah. my brain was at. Yeah, Glenn. This guy's name's Greg. Is it Greg? That's where I, yeah. I know your name. I feel like a, a big doofus now. I'm sorry. Anyway, Glenn, do you want to give them your uh, phone number? Nah, it's all right. They can just contact me through YouTube. Okay. That's fine. My, all my information's in my profile, my about section. Uh, Instagram is Ostar1. They can contact me there. Facebook's Ostar and YouTube. So that's the way to get in touch with me. Um, I do want to say thanks, Gary, for coming all the way up, helping me out with the cars. Uh, I helped you out a little too. You did. And um, I appreciate it. Uh, I did learn quite a few things that, you know, I had a good start, but you definitely got me on the right track. So I appreciate that. And uh, 
I think we had a good three days. It went fast. It was awesome. It was I mean, this this <laughs> this Mustang would have never gotten done today without your help. I truly appreciate you. Oh, you did a well. great job. Um, it wasn't a whole lot of training you. You pretty much just picked up the polisher and knew what was up. I mean, yeah. well, there you're was definitely some uh, little you know about your products and exactly how to use them and apply. Them. So. Well, I I hope we got you straight on that. But he has a direct line to me, and. Uh, I don't screen his calls. <laughs> I'll pick up when his name shows up on the phone. So um, anyway, wheels nice and clean, nice and protected, tires dressed, compounded, polished the paint. It looks amazing. I love this Admiral, Admiral Blue, especially out here in the sun. wants a rev up and I got a rev up video for that all right there is a YouTube all star uh, rev up video. three Corvette three Corvette rev up all right well check out detailjuice.com for the one system both of these cars were compounded polished and the full one system on both cars so if you got any question for me 813-846-4406 and uh Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, processes, and what I've got going on. It's a great place to learn about the products, ask some questions, get some answers, and that kind of thing. But you can always reach out on Instagram, which is at gary.dean.35. I have two R's in my name. And then Leave a comment below if you've got any questions. Have a good day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these fantastic cars as much as we did.